<laughs> you had to do that, didn't you? Sure did. My kids and I do I'm it to I'm afraid to say anything to this lady. You remember, the, remember Mama Fratelli from the Goonies? <laughs> That's what she looks like. Seen, do not go to Transit McDonald's. Ever seen Deliverance? <laughs> I've seen Sling Blade. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drop a coleslaw on me like that. Go now. Go now. <laughs> so, Jeff Farner mentions talking about analyzing Ellen's shortcomings, and yeah, I, I think I, I think that's fair. I think it's a good time to do it, right? I think we've seen Allen pre-injury, Allen post-injury. I don't know if it's. The offense has grown. Like, the offensive line has... They figured some of that out. They've had time. Right. So, I think there were some good things that happened because of Allen's injury. Gate got him out of the fire, right? Because it was it was bad there for a while. So, so you're saying that he got... He had the ability to take a step back, watch what was going on, and then come back and say, oh, these are the mistakes we were making? I don't even know if it was Allen. I think it was they figured out some of the pieces to the puzzle on the offensive line... And now he just has better protection than he had at the beginning of the season. He's also got different receivers. So, I mean, there's a lot of variables at play. So, it's a little tough for me to be able to extrapolate what's Allen and what's not. But I will say the one thing that is bothering me, and I said it on the post game, is his, his sa safety valve throws where he's staring at a guy and he's waiting for them to get open. Yeah. He's, he's taking up a lot of time. I know he's getting the time right now. But he's taking up a lot of time. That it's gonna get him killed eventually. I think he's got that internal clock. I think what Allen figured out pre versus post is where the pressure's coming from. He'll roll both ways. Right. And it it, it depends on where they're bringing pressure because he's he's identifying guys now mm -hmm. up at the line. We didn't whether see or that not at the that's beginning a, of the season. No, whether or not that's a smoke screen of what he's doing. Great. And probably a direct result of Cully. I would think that's Cully, not Dable. Right. But I'm biased. Got my fries. I swear to God, you give me the medium fries. No, they're in the same size box. I'm going to... I'm going to... See, they gave us the same fries in the same box and then just basically thought that we'd fight for dominance in the car. Now I'm pissed off. I'd win. Stop it. You what? I'd win. And if what? Were, if this were a fight, I'd win. Fight what? If we had to fight, if we had to go outside and fight, I'd win. Do you know why I know I'd win? What's this? In, I'd love to hear your analysis. Here's what I would do. Okay. I would kick you in the shin. Okay. And then you'd be mad and you'd run at me. And 50 yards later, you'd be gassed. You'd fall on the ground. I'd kick you a couple times and the fight would be over. Okay. Okay. Can I talk? Can I talk about the loopholes in your theory? Number one, I don't think you can kick me that fast. Two, who's to say I'm going to get winded after 50 yards? <laughs> last time you saw a treadmill, you were driving by Planet Fitness. Boy, it's the last time you did cardio. You were at Buff State. I had an EKG. <laughs> I like the things that I'm seeing. Out of, there's more positives than negatives that I'm seeing out of Alan. But again, I think it's tough to grade because is it Dable understanding the limitations of his rookie quarterback better? Is it the offensive support team has under you know better understands what it you know what his skill set is? Is it the change at wide receiver? Is it the change on the offensive line? Like there's been a ton of changes, so I can't really nail down precisely what it is that make it look so different from Week two to week 12. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, but if I think about it, I think he was just a wide-eyed rookie. And that's what, that's some of the things that bother me. Like, when you get in week week 15, week 16, you say, oh, he's, he's a rookie. He's played fit a year. Mm -hmm. Let's relax now. 
He's got like 20 games under his belt. Right. Stop it. The thing about it is that we have to we have to really concentrate on is that I don't think the offensive game plan was to say come in here and say, hey, uh, for us to be in this game, Allen's got to have 100 yards rushing. I think the 135 yards you didn't account for, he covered up some bad things that were going on. Yep. Whether it was the line, whether it was receivers, whether it was the scheme, yep. that kid covered up a lot of stuff that happened on that field today. And was the real reason he was there in the game. I know he threw two picks. One was at the end of the half. You can't really count that. Did we talk about that later? Yeah. Because that was, I was so frustrated with the way that they managed that. I didn't understand. Just kick the field goal. Just kick the field goal. They burned a timeout. Going the same way with the kicker that just missed an extra point. I don't know. Confidence is a big thing, man. I don't know. Well, I, I'm, I'm with you on this. I would have kicked it. What do you get by throwing a touchdown there, which is a low percentage thing? Mm-hmm. Right. I don't understand. At that point, you've completed, what, nine passes all game? But, yeah, let's throw 150. It doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense. And then they poorly managed the clock because they had to call a timeout. Don't get me started. They could have... you got to have two plays could've... in your pocket. They could have run the ball up the gut, got another two yards... Put it in the middle of the field, call the timeout, still kick the field. But no. They screw that up. They screw the play clock up. There was a lot of play clock mismanagement today. Mm. Because they were getting real close mm. to... Mm. Oh, what? Do you have a theory on this? I'd love to hear this. Mm. Whose job is that? Play clock management? Yeah. I assume... Tables? Get the play in! Yeah, but those helmets cut out at a certain time. 15 seconds. Five. We heard a lot of kill kills. Mm-hmm. Which means as an offensive play caller, you got to get both of them out. Mm-hmm. If you didn't have that prior, if you just gave them one play, which is stupid, if you just gave them one play prior to today, said, hey, here, run this. Not there, go. Is this guy's bright turn? I'm really sure. This is going to be a road raid episode. So you, you have to give them two plays now. You give them two plays. Looking at us in the camera, I feel like we're both extras in the movie Powder. Remember that movie? Sean Patrick Flannery? Of course I do. Please um, turn. What? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm glad that's over. You're a grief. Yeah. So you want to get two plays in there. You want to give them the option to try to... A run pass option. Yeah. So, if you want to do that? That's fine. But get it into get it into him. Don't get it into him when it, the mic just cuts out. Get it into him with like twenty seconds left. Right. Hey, we're gonna go this, 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 this. Boom. So he gets in the huddle. He calls it. And then he gets up to the line. Does what he has to do. However, a lot of those things he's getting back to the huddle late because he had to run. Yep. So he's trying to catch his breath. He's got to run back to the huddle. That's a great get point. Get the play, and That's then get the play point. back out. So, That's a great point. Yeah. One thing that we talk about often with like rookie running backs is the flame out, right? Yeah. These kids, they play ten what ten college games usually. Yeah, about 11, 12, something like that. So normally by week 11, 12, 13, but like near the end of the season, they start to flame out because they're just their bodies are just beat. These it's, are professional athletes, but it's the first time they've really gone through that length of a season. You've said it many times before, my friend. It's a job now. It is. It's very much a job. You're not going to lose. <coughs> you're not going to lose a game, then Monday stuff to go to class, and then fall asleep halfway right. through it. Right. So my question is, since Allen was out for so long with an injury, is he going to bypass that rookie flameout period? Because he's running a lot. This team's running on his shoulders right now. Well, so. he is fresh. He is fresh. Right. I mean, he is fresh. I just, I'm worried about him getting clobbered. Because he's put he's put in harm's way. Maybe sometimes he's putting himself in harm's way. Maybe sometimes the play design is not conducive to what's going on. Maybe the offensive line isn't jumping. You know, there's a lot of factors at play, which is probably why we didn't see Dable gone at bye week. Mm-hmm. 
because there were so many things he was hiding behind. Well, I, you're giving me four quarterbacks. Uh, Allen got hurt. Uh, da, 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 da. X, Y, Z. You know? he made me start Miller at guard. <laughs> <laughs> he made me, yeah. But the changes that they made have made him more competitive. Now, is it because the back end of the season is supposed to be easier? It is. Yeah, it that's, is. That's documented. Like I said, Miami was 29th coming in defensively mm -hmm. this week. Huh? So, he he was given lanes, but you want to talk about Wake and Quinn. Those guys are defensive, dangerous defensive ends, and he was able to elude them. Kiko's leading the league in tackles. He missed like four of them on Allen. So, from an individual standpoint, he was impressive in that respect. Allen gave him the Heisman a couple times. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I love it. He hit him on ice skates. So bad, dude. Like Kiko, so he's a bad. safety. Why did they put him at linebacker? Uh, Can somebody buy Kiko like a regulation length jersey, please? Kiko, do you love me? He looks like the beach version of a Ken doll. Like beach escapades, Ken. It's <laughs> just Kiko allowed, so. You got problem. I think, I just really think that, that was, those 135 yards were covering up something very, very bad. Either it's the scheme, the wide receiver play, or the old line. And it's not him. You think that he, he drops back and was running too early? Mm -mm. No, no, no. What I'm saying is he drops back, and instead of watching the play develop, he's looking at one guy to get open. But that's going to drag the safety. Like, did you see him today get in back of the pocket, wait, 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 and then look someplace else? No. He got back in the pocket, wait, wait. When? A couple times. He dropped back. He stepped up in the pocket because those speed rushers were going yeah. around Dawkins and, uh, and Miller. And then he... Mills. Mills. So those speed rushers were going around. So he steps up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Internal clock's in his head. All right, I'm going to take off. And then he would run sideways to try to see if anything would break first and it didn't that's a positive I, I, but that's i'm not talking about him determining whether he's going to run or not and then seeing if anything opens you're up saying that if, if the read if he made the correct read he wouldn't have to run so much right okay that's fair or if he looked off his primary read because there were other guys open like when you go back and watch the film dude there's gonna be so many guys open so many there are a lot of guys open today dude and he uh, threw right by him all right sean mcdermott I'm going to look at the film. Yeah, look at the film. I think it remains to be seen as far as Allen goes because there's, there's a lot out there as far as variables around him. Yeah. I don't know. There's some things that I really like. There's just some things I just don't like at all, but it's to be expected with a rookie quarterback. I'm not seeing any red flags. No. I guess that's a good, I guess that's a good way to, to approach it. You want to see progress, right? And there, he's made progress, undoubtedly so. But... I'm not seeing any of the big red flags that you would see out of a quarterback that is a little bit out of their element. I'm not seeing that. What the Bills have now, I think if you're a fan looking at it, we got one. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. He has all of the physical tools to be successful and dangerous in the NFL. <clears throat> we didn't have that before. Nope. So who is going to end up putting him on the path to be successful in the future? That's the big question, I 